Well done, graduates. Well done. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Baraboo High School class of 2022. I would like to extend a sincere and heartfelt welcome to the parents, relatives, and friends as we celebrate with the members of the class of 2022. Thank you for providing the support and guidance that has fostered the success and accomplishments of our graduates. It is with a tremendous amount of pride and pleasure as Baraboo High School principal, that I wish each member of the class of 2022 congratulations. Let's give them another big round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, as you conclude your high school career, now's the time to focus on your accomplishments and also take time to express your gratitude, particularly to your parents, guardians, and loved ones, but also to your dedicated teachers and fellow students, all of whom have helped you get to this important day of your life. Over the past couple of years, you have faced uncertainty, adversity, challenges, and some disappointment. You've had to be creative, learn new ways of doing things, and be adaptive and resilient. Those are qualities and skills that will benefit you your entire lifetime. Class of 2022, I want to thank you for being leaders and role models to the underclassmen and for making the most of your high school experience. From my perspective, considering all of the challenges that you have faced, it couldn't have gone any smoother. And I credit that in large part to your leadership and your maturity. I also don't want to lose sight that earlier this year, our school family suffered an enormous tragedy when two of your classmates, Faith Woods and Adley Estes, lost their lives in a tragic car accident. In their memory, we will be dedicating a bench outside the school by the art suites. During difficult times like this, remem remember that as students at Baraboo High School, we honor the legend of the Thunderbird by finding our strength and working to bring peace to each other. At this time, I ask that we have a moment of silence as we honor the lives of Faith and Adley. Thank you very much. Graduates, as you go out into the world, you will undoubtedly face challenges and also great opportunities. My hope for all of you is that you will always strive to maintain a positive attitude. Having a positive attitude means being optimistic about situations, your interactions with others, and especially about yourself. People with positive attitudes remain hopeful and see the best in difficult situations. Realize your attitude is entirely up to you. Avoid negativity and learn to be grateful for everything good in your life. Learn to love yourself and keep the big picture in mind. There's no time like the present to be focused on your bright futures and to embrace the opportunities that lie before all of you with a positive attitude. Your graduation is a matter of immense happiness for all of us. It's especially proud and happy time for me with my daughter Claire graduating. I am so privileged for having had the opportunity to watch all of you grow and mature 
and for serving as your principal. Enjoy the achievement, but remember that it's only the, the beginning. Best wishes for all of your future endeavors and always onward. I just want to remind the audience that we will be live streaming this out in the cafeteria. And at this time, the choir led by director Lynn Gannell will sing the pre-recorded national anthem. Please stand if you are able to. Awesome, buddy. All right, you got this. Take your time. Class of 2022, we made it. <laughs> now that we have reached the end, we have a chance to reflect on our high school experience and to ask ourselves what we've learned. I'd like to extend a brief thank you today to everyone who has helped someone that you see down here on the floor to get here today. As the last time that we walk out of Baraboo High School draws nearer, I, and I'm sure you as well, have been thinking about everything that has happened during our high school experience. We have endured much, loss, a pandemic, separation, virtual school, I could go on. But instead, what I wish to speak about is this old 70s song that I like. It was on TikTok, and it's called Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. And Fleetwood Mac tells us this, thunder only happens when it's raining, which is, of course, very wise. But more to the point, Fleetwood Mac also tells us that like a heartbeat drives you mad in the stillness of remembering what you had. Now, I'm not here today to talk about things that already happened or old songs. I'm here to talk about what all of those things have in common. They all happened in the past, and they are all remembered. And they are all remembered well enough that I'm still here speaking about them to you today. So that is the question that I am asking the class of 2022. Will we be remembered? And if so, for what? I could say that we are going on to the next chapter of our lives. And we are. 
But those chapters that we have already written don't leave us behind. They don't disappear. They follow us around. Sometimes they follow us around a little too closely. But they will never truly leave us. We will always have what we had here. As long as we remember, it will be with us. As we go on with our lives, away from Baraboo High School, away from the friends that we made here, away from the teachers that taught us, the staff that helped us, and the bonds that we have built with each other, as we leave Baraboo High School, the town of Baraboo, and maybe even the state of Wisconsin, what we leave behind does not disappear. We will be remembered. Or perhaps we won't. Maybe you are dissatisfied with how you think you will be remembered. Our opportunity to change how we will be remembered has passed at Baraboo High School. It's gone. But as we go on, we have the chance to redefine who we are. Our impact goes both ways. Just like a step in the mud makes your shoe dirty, you can see the impact in the ground where you've been. You can remember that, or perhaps others will. In some time, when we are caught in the stillness of remembering what we had and what we lost, we can hope that there are others who remember. And so, my hope for us, the class of 2022, is that as we go our separate ways, we ought to live as though we deserve to be remembered. Thank you. Well done, Anna. Thank you. Well done. I am so excited to welcome the Winnebago Sons to our graduation ceremony. The, the song the Winnebago Sons will be singing is a Ho-Chunk flag song. This song represents the Ho-Chunk flag and all the soldiers. We honor them not only for their bravery, but for their generosity as well. The drum brings peace and people together. The beat of the drum represents the heartbeat to Mother Earth. When being around it, you need to have good thoughts and feelings. Again, we welcome the Winnebago Sons.
Good evening. I'd like to begin tonight by saying the two most important words I will say. Thank you to everyone who played a role in getting us across this stage. Thank you. Your efforts, though often underappreciated, have not gone unnoticed, and we would not be here without you. To the class of 2022, tonight marks the end of the first big chapter in our lives but it is also the first paragraph of a new one. And wherever that new chapter takes you, you are going to fail. At some point from this moment forward, you are going to put all of your efforts into a singular goal and try to aim for a desired result, but ultimately come up short. That is inevitable. And that could scare you, Maybe it paralyzes you to the extent that you are unable to act on your ambitions. Maybe your fear of failure is what keeps you from realizing your true potential, but it shouldn't. The fear of failure is a foolish thing to be afraid of when we are able to control our responses. With that being said, what is failure and how do we overcome it despite its fixed presence in our lives. We might say that failure is the opposite of success, but I think it goes deeper than that. Our relationship with failure begins with how we define success, and in every schedule we chose and college application we filled out, we made decisions based on how we individually could be most successful, because that's the goal, right? Success. And so in writing this speech, I asked fellow graduates what they feel leads one to success. Among the most common answers were hard work, knowledge, and having good connections. But success is not just a measure of these things. Success is decided by your relationship with failure. At the end of the day, what you achieve is not only a measure of how hard you worked when it was easy, and it is not a result of the effort you put in when you wanted to. Your success is a direct outcome of the work you do, especially when no one is looking and when you are holding yourself accountable. Your success is a representation of every time that you challenge yourself to be better than the person that you were yesterday. And in each instant that you show up to take a consistent action towards any goal you may have, you get closer to reaching it. On some days, the progress is minimal. On others, it's sizable. But almost all the time, the progress you make, you make through failing and learning something from that experience. After all, the most successful people we know are also the people who have failed the most. They didn't get to where they are without experiencing failure, but because of it. So what do we know about failure? We know that it is nothing more than a wall that you will initially crash into, but then learn how to climb over. And that is why there's no reason to tremble in its wake. Getting comfortable with failure is the only way you grow, and growth is what leads you to succeed. Still, I agree, the thought of failure will never be a consoling one. And maybe that's what makes saying goodbye so difficult. Aside from leaving behind the few constants we've had throughout our high school experience, we also know that as we walk out the front doors of BHS for the last time, we will be put in positions where we might not surpass our expectations. Think about it. For the past four years, there have always been football games, school dances, sports seasons, and lunch periods. 
And now those things that were constant will be replaced with new opportunities. New opportunities that increase our chances of failure and that makes us uncomfortable. But therein lies the message that I want you to take away. Because in the same way that tonight is the gateway to all of our future aspirations, failure is also your gateway to success. Getting comfortable being uncomfortable, getting comfortable with failure, allows us to arrive at our final destinations. Because by failing, we are forced to develop our own individual, unique ways of overcoming obstacles and coming out on top. And so, as you work towards whatever goals you have, I encourage you not to be afraid of failing, but to invite it as an opportunity to accomplish anything you set out to do. I hope that you allow yourself to get knocked down, that you lean on the people that have gotten you to this point, and that you then learn how to get back up again because that is when you will achieve true success. Thank you. Take your time. All right. I want to start off by thanking everyone for attending today. This night wouldn't be as special without all of you here. On behalf of the class of 2022, I'd like to thank the teachers and staff of Baraboo High School for being by our side every step of the way throughout our high school careers. We wouldn't be here without all of you. That is why it is necessary to give back to our school. It is my honor and pleasure to announce the class of 2022 will be partnering with the tech department to give Baraboo High School a new state-of-the-art projection system as our class gift. These upgrades will allow the school to project from the stage instead of the gym floor, allowing the school to use the gym openly for gatherings they wouldn't have been able to with the old projection system. We hope our class gift makes as big of an impact on our school as we did. Now to the seniors. It was an honor to serve as your class president. We had a great high school career all of you have great potential to do great things in your lives, and you will, because the Thunderbird spirit lives among us. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Have you met the academic and behavioral requirements of the faculty of Baraboo High School? On behalf of the entire faculty, I, as principal of Baraboo High School, nominate and recommend these individuals from the class of 2022 to Dr. Rainey Briggs, District Administrator for the Baraboo, High, for the Baraboo School District, for graduation from Baraboo High School. Wow. Um, I am pleased to be able to say a few remarks today uh, and share some of my thoughts with you on this graduation day. It is natural to think a little bit about your experiences you've had in elementary and in middle school. And it's even more important to think about the experiences you've all had in high school. You have had experiences that not many people can say they have had as the class of 2022. You have worked hard and accomplished much in your time here in the Baraboo School District. As superintendent, I can tell you there are many places you will go. So let me start by saying the places you have been. You have learned how to read and write. You have become proficient at math, learned how to think like scientists, and have become acquainted with many of the world's regions, customs, and history in your social studies lessons. You have built homes, learned how to cook, sew, and balance a checkbook to pay your bills. 
you have created a beautiful culture that welcomes people every day. You've performed musically with Ms. Gunnell and marched in the band with Mr. James. Many of you have participated in some clubs, some sports, and activities. But along the way, you have made new friends and have been taught by many wonderful teachers. Can I have every teacher and educator that's in this space stand up really quick? I cannot imagine that these students that are sitting on the floor right now are not thanking you. And I wanna thank you as the superintendent of this district for the hard work that you do every day. So thank you. Most importantly, I think you have learned what it means to grow mentally and physically and to be inspired, engaged, and prepared to be global citizens in this ever-changing world. No matter what subjects or activities you have engaged in or your teachers have taught you over the years, what they were most concerned about was helping each and every one of you become your best selves. I would like to share with you five pieces of advice that you can put in your back pocket and take with you anywhere you go in life. Number one, work hard. Things won't always come easy to you, and they shouldn't. What is worth learning is worth working hard for. Don't let frustration get the best of you. Persevere, ask for help, keep trying. The payoff is worth it. Number two, be humble. Be humble about your accomplishments and be quick to compliment others on theirs. You will be respected and appreciated by others for this attitude. Number three, smile. Man, I will tell you, having that smile is one of the most amazing things you can have that people will see about you. It lights up the world. Number four, be courteous and respectful towards adults, towards your peers, towards yourselves, Good manners and a respectful attitude will take you far in this world. Number five, seize the moment. The opportunities you have in life sometimes only happen once. Make a difference in your lives and also in others as well as you go through your next steps in your journeys. And of course, I can't let you get out of here without a six, a bonus one. Do what is right, even when it is not the popular thing to do. If doing what is right causes you to lose friends, then guess what? They weren't your friends to begin with. <laughs> Graduates, you leave here having learned a lot but you have much more to learn in the years ahead. Be willing to keep on learning from your professors, your coaches, your parents, the world, and your friends. Maintain a positive attitude, a helpful disposition, and a willingness to try new things. Look around you right now. Just take a quick look to your left, to your right, off in the stands. These are all the people that have had an impact in who you have become to this point. And I hope you know how important it is that they are here for you and you can look to your left and to your right and see the people that are sitting next to you and know that they, they have taken this journey with you. 
Because life has so much in store for each and every one of you, I hope the last 13 years, and most importantly tonight, has prepared you to be global citizens that represents the school district of Baraboo. Not only here in the city, but also around the world. As you walk out of these doors for the, for the final time as seniors, always remember, you are always welcome back to the Baraboo School District, and that you have forever left your mark as students on your teachers' hearts that you have had. Once a T-bird, always a T-bird, and this is us. Yeah, time for the big dog. And next, I would like to introduce the School District of Baraboo Board of Education President, Mr. Kevin Vodak, for the acceptance of these students from the class of 2022 as candidates for graduation. Wow, um, some awesome speeches that I get to follow. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Board of Education to accept you as graduates. Principal Bilston, members of the faculty, parents, grandparents, all the distinguished guests, those that are watching worldwide, and the 2022 Baraboo High School graduates, I am honored to be here tonight on behalf of the Board of Education. With me on stage tonight, fellow board members Gwen Peterson and Katie Collish. And last but not least, the former speaker, Dr. Briggs, who has the honor of presiding over his first Baraboo graduation tonight. And I think Mr. Bilston kind of gave a hint away earlier when he was talking, because he has the privilege of being on stage tonight with his daughter, Claire, and that is just awesome. So, you guys have had plenty of applause, and you are well deserving of that applause. I know that it's been your day, and I'm sure you've got plans for the night, but if I could ask the class of 2022 to stand up, turn around, and give a round of applause for everyone else that's in this room that got you here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You can return to your seats. Hopefully, as it's already been mentioned, when you drive by this building or you visit this building in the future, it'll be more than just a building. And you've been part of a lot of changes within this building. You've got some great memories. The building is a part of your life. Great teachers, great administrators, great people in the food service department, custodial, your bus drivers, if you rode a bus, there were a lot of people that helped get you to here tonight. But one thing nobody came here for tonight was to hear me continue to talk. I just want to say the world is changing, and it's not necessarily changing for the better. We're in some tough times. We truly are counting on your leadership, and we need you. Congratulations, let's get on with the show. At this time, we'd like our graduates to come up to the stage and yes it's it's time to start what we all came here to watch Yes, they are. It's awesome. It's 
Eric Michael Gums, summa cum laude. Samantha Christine Walter, summa cum laude. Joseph Ilanikiel Philip, summa cum laude. Caden Allen Agnew, cum laude. Kaylee Janelle Allen. Kristen Marie Alwyn. Angel Isaac Anya Ochoa. Austin Xavier Anderson. Nicholas James Ball, magna cum laude. Bryce Michael Balwig, magna cum laude. Micaiah D. Bauman. Jameson Miles Baxter. Avery Natalie Benavidez Shefflin, summa cum laude. Gunner John Burning. Kaylee Charlotte Berry. Abigail Fawn Bielicki. Claire Charlotte Bildston, cum laude. Jacob Richard Bishop. Dylan Jeffrey Blazer. Carson Joe Blazinski. Joseph Robert Betcher. Deontay Michael Bollinger. Destiny Ella Bottleson. Catalina Grace Bowers. Hope Grace Bowers, magna cum laude. Drew Nicholas Bromley, cum laude.
Andrew Timothy Brooks, summa cum laude. Lillian May Louise Browning. Vanessa Marie Brumgard. Jalen Marie Brunker. Link Raymond Buchanan. Sierra Miranda Castro. Maggie Ann Clary Summa Cum Laude. Aiden Sean Collins. Devin Christopher Collins. Jasmine Ann Marie Copas. Yvette Olivia Carchon, summa cum laude. Naya Ray Culbertson, summa cum laude. Kesley Dance, magna cum laude. Alice Caroline Davies, summa cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Deering. Amanda Cherie Dent, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Denzer. Michaela Rose De Simone. Taylor Renee Dobush, Magna Cum Laude. Shaley Madeline Doherty, Summa Cum Laude. Katie Duran Garcia, summa cum laude. Evan Michael Exo, summa cum laude. Anastasia Elise Eksterovich, summa cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Favor, magna cum laude. Lillis Ann Famiano, summa cum laude. Colton Adam Fall. Emily Elizabeth Fike. (laughs) 
Brooklyn Kennedy Fisher. Gabrielle Thomas Fitzwilliams, cum laude. Emma May Fluette, magna cum laude. Kayla Ann Frederick. Jaden Lily Mae Fry. Chandler Ryan Fuller. Seneca Cloud Funmaker. Kendra Ray Funmaker. Abby Lauren Gassier. Cameron H. Dare. Charles Mark Gibbs, summa cum laude. Samantha Shea Gilkison. Natalie Renee Neiser, magna cum laude. Julia Marie Greenwood. Savannah Dawn Griefy. Caitlin Elizabeth Gruber, cum laude. Mackenzie Donnelly Gruner, magna cum laude. Ethan J. Grunwald. Emily May Gunnell, magna cum laude. David Arthur Hall. <laughs> Haley Claire Hardin, summa cum laude. <laughs> Maya Jesse Harrison. Dalton Matthew Harvey. Emma Renee Hawes, summa cum laude. Brady Brian Henry. Shane Michael Hesse. Beaumont Robert Hitchcock. Ryan Charles Hannigan.
Seth Allen Hitman, summa cum laude. Dante Alexander Hoppy, cum laude. Desiree Elizabeth Hudnell. Eva Lorraine Huffaker, magna cum laude. Zachary Wellington Huffaker, summa cum laude. David R. Hewen. Joshua, Joshua William Hewen. Elijah Martin Hewlett. Anna Grace Jansen, magna cum laude. Connor Bradley Jenks. Tyler John Jensen. Brianna Nicole Jesse. Jordan Levray Johnson. Merrick Daniel Johnson. Hayden Isaiah Johnson. Richard Daniel Jordan, Jr. Evan William Joseph. Jason William Justice, summa cum laude. Marissa Elizabeth Kalo. Jacob, excuse me, Caleb Jacob Keating, cum laude. Brady Daniel Kelly. Evan L. Kephart, cum laude. Mercedes Ray Kimpfbeck. Caitlin Marie Kirchberg. <laughs> Levi Richard Klein, summa cum laude. <laughs> Casey Lee Klingenmeyer. Melanie Rose Copey, summa cum laude. Joseph 
Lepasic Wick. Azaria Parashe Larry. Luna Scott Larson. Peyton Mark Lee. Caroline K. Lewison, summa cum laude. Paige, Rebecca Lewison, summa cum laude. Jack, Daniel Light, summa cum laude. Ryan Robert Legal. <laughs> Samara Sue Linsmeyer, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ella Margaret Lohr. Xanthia Jean Lasik. Lillian Rose Luba. Marissa Ann Madden. Sabrina Zofia Makowski. Griffin John Martin. Riley Christopher Martin. Joseph Charles McMurray. Gabriel Michael McReynolds, summa cum laude. Jenna Lane Mizey, cum laude. Irene Fahaz Mendez. Dalen Jade Merrill, magna cum laude. Bryce Stephen Morris. Kelly Nicole Murray. Jacob Jeffrey Noctegal. Rain Nicole Newman. Peyton. Margaret Nixick, summa cum laude. Catalina Nevea Nowak. Oh. 
Owen Thomas Nowak. Nicholas Mateo Orozco. Connor Michael Ott. Jenna Nicole Ott, summa cum laude. Priscilla Rose Pace. <laughs> Chloe Marie Palmer. <laughs> Zan Marie Peterson. Jonathan J. Pierce. <laughs> Katie Marie Pilon. <laughs> Willem Philip Craig Poynton. Thunder Sky Porter. <laughs> Nicholas Alexander Reister, summa cum laude. <laughs> Greta Elizabeth Romberg, magna cum laude. Alora Serenity Rushinsky. Marcus Andreas Saldivar III. David M. Salinas Phillips, cum laude. <laughs> Oliver John Scanlon, cum laude. <laughs> Christian Edward Shackern, cum laude. Caleb Jerome Shadi. Andrew John Allen Schetzel. Brendan Elijah Sheridelli. Sadie Jane Schlender, summa cum laude. <coughs> Hayden Jean Schrader. Joshua Nicholas Schwab. Ava Grace Schwen, cum laude. <laughs> T. 
Kenley May Scott, cum laude. Ethan James Sefkar, summa cum laude. Joseph M. Sevilla. Christopher William Shanks, cum laude. Emma Marie Shanks, magna cum laude. Natalie K. Shawback. Jasmine Rain Shepherd. Brianna Louise Sindin. Benjamin Patrick Smittle. Trinity Ann Sobajinski. Charles Evan Spencer. Kylie Elizabeth Sprecher. Brittany Jane Stebbins. Chloe June Stevens. Harmony Maya Jane Stevens. <laughs> Reese Clara Sulik. <laughs> Olivia Grace Summers. Mackenzie Rose Sueda, summa cum laude. Andrew Lee Talty. Selena Miarea Tellez. Maxwell Patrick Tomey. Vincent Paul Tickenin. Ivan Hilario Thomas. Kayla Rose Trudell. Meg Rebecca Turkington, summa cum laude. Alexia Regina Van Lannan, magna cum laude.
Lindsay M. Bondren. Duncan Alexander Warren. Logan Anthony Wiedekin. Riley Brian Y. Jordana Brielle White Eagle. Devante Desroy White. Raymond Joshua Williams. Autumn Soleil Windis, magna cum laude. Alexis Grace Winicky, summa cum laude. Autumn Michelle Winicky, magna cum laude. Michael Lee Wierig. Cyan Laurel Wisner. Ethan R.J. Wittoon, summa cum laude. Emiliana Rose Wolf. Riley Andrew Yingsdale. <clears throat> Megan Rose Zap, cum laude. Cole S. Zitlow. Sean Kieran Zuzanaga, magna cum laude. <clears throat> well done. At this time, I would ask that our graduates please stand. Graduates, graduates, you made it. Earlier tonight, earlier tonight you entered this 
Gymnasium as Baraboo High School students. And now you leave as Baraboo High School graduates. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to present to you the most recent graduates of Baraboo High School, the class of 2022. And now, the recessional. <laughs> 